our contestant number three. The Bay Oaks retirement home in Miami has been housing the elderly for 70 years. Many of its residents rely on social welfare programs and have for decades. Some, like 87-year-old Janet Leidbecker, are paying close attention to what's happening in Washington. A former social worker, Janet, says welfare may be coming to an end. My generation, I think we never thought of Social Security having an end date, but I believe it will. Uh, perhaps it'll be 2025, 2030, but there will come an end. But this is plenty of time for everybody to get their act together. But in the meantime, it's very, very it's sad. I-19. Of particular concern are potential changes to Medicare, a federal program for over 65s. It could face cuts of up to $25 billion. When Medicare and Medicaid were set up in the 1960s, it encompassed the idea of a greater society, one that took care of its poor and elderly. Experts say any cuts to those programs won't necessarily mean less money for recipients, but it will mean less cash for doctors, hospitals and nursing facilities. And advocates say that could have terrible consequences. This was going to be terrible. My clinic represents... Jonelle Newman says without access to affordable health care, millions could suffer. Doctors who take care of elderly patients will find themselves unable to accept patients. They will turn people away who need the care most of all and who can't afford to pay high private market rates or premiums. More than 50 million Americans currently receive Medicare benefits and with a rapidly aging population, it's seen by many as a vital safety net. It's a curious thing, 10,000 people turn 65 every day in America and will for the next 20 years. So I imagine the majority of those people vote, and I imagine that when the, the cuts actually take place, they'll be adversely affected and they're going to go to the polls. The conference report is adopted without objection. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. The Republicans' tax reform bill is already unpopular among many voters. It's hoped with next year's midterm elections approaching, drastic cuts may be avoided. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.